In our morning rounds, an image of controversy. There may be no greater thrill than seeing your baby for the first time. I know it was for me. Since the late 1970s, that first look often comes courtesy of an ultrasound. Improving technology is now giving people a much sharper view of a fetus. But Dr. Tara Narula shows us how the government is putting safety concerns in the picture. Tara, good morning. Thanks, Nora. Good morning. There's no doubt that ultrasounds provide doctors with vital information about the condition of an unborn child. But as the images get clearer and three-dimensional, more and more women are going for optional so-called keepsake ultrasounds. That has some doctors and the FDA waving warning flags. Let us see you, son. 26-year-old Donquisha Williams is getting an ultrasound. Oh, look at my baby. But this one isn't at her doctor's office. It's at the Lakewood Center Mall in Southern California at a place called Meet Your Baby. These are going to go in my photo album. I get to actually see him, like, you know, so I'm excited and everything. Meet Your Baby is one of a growing trend of facilities offering 3D fetal images of unborn children as keepsakes. That's a full schedule. Michael Horan is the owner. We use the same machine as the doctor. Our techs spend a little more time to get a more enjoyable session out of it. But more time and multiple visits are part of what concerns the FDA and some doctors. While ultrasounds are considered safe, they are known to raise the temperature of exposed tissue and can even create small bubbles known as cavitation. I know that they're exciting, but I don't think women should abuse the medical technology for their entertainment purposes. According to a recent consumer update, the FDA says, the long-term effects of tissue heating and cavitation are not known. Therefore, ultrasound scans should be done only when there is a medical need. And regarding ultrasound machines, they are not intended for over-the-counter sale or use, and the FDA strongly discourages their use for creating fetal keepsake images and videos. I can't even believe what I'm looking at. Still, the appeal is obvious. Oh my God, those cheeks. 3D ultrasounds give mothers-to-be an uncanny picture of their unborn child, a far cry from the original chalky, black and white, often hard to discern pictures produced by 2D ultrasounds. Do you feel like it gives you more of an emotional response or reaction to see the 3D image as opposed to the 2D Very. image? Very. I, I didn't, I didn't, I felt emotionally connected in the 2D but I almost cried here. That is amazing. It's a bonding experience. Evelyn Orozco owns 3D imaging services in New York City. She has three branch offices with plans for a fourth. Take a deep breath in and hold it. While she performs diagnostic ultrasounds for a variety of medical conditions, as her website illustrates, 3D prenatal images are the big sell. All of a sudden, it's not a black and white. You see the features, you see a baby's face. And the biggest thing here is the nose. Everybody talks about the nose. Whose nose is that? <laughs> is it daddy's nose? Is it mommy's nose? Look at that face. Some worry it could provide women with a false sense of security. She may feel, oh, I've gone to the mall. I've gone to one of these outposts where I can have an ultrasound done, and everything seems to be fine, so I'm in great shape. Or be the lion. And on the other hand, a woman may go for a vanity ultrasound where they may detect an abnormality and there isn't a physician or a professional on site who can explain the abnormality that may have been detected at that point in time. You comfortable? Orozco says she requires all of her clients to be under the care of an OBGYN. This does not replace anything that your doctor is sending you for. Do you ever have any of your patients who come here for the 3D ultrasounds asking you for advice? Yes. But again, I'm not a doctor. The biggest thing I tell everybody is just make sure you drink plenty of water, and that's a great question for your doctor. <laughs> At least one state, Connecticut, has banned the use of prenatal ultrasounds for any non-medical use. It's important to note, though, that used properly under a doctor's care, ultrasounds are not dangerous, and they're an important tool in prenatal care. Yeah, really interesting. Yeah, I certainly get the appeal, but you really raise some good points for people to think about. Yeah. I would have not given that a thought. Exactly, and the concern is, you know, ultrasound should be used for less than 20 minutes. Yeah. And when you're going for these prolonged sessions, frequent imaging, you know, we don't know the long-term effects. So at this point, it's just a warning from the FDA. It is, it is. Advisory, okay. Exactly. Thank All right, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Chair.